Episarena, the Asiatic honeybee, pollinates the mustard flowers in Nepal's western hill country. The region's farmers depend on it. They get their cooking oil from mustard seeds. Hollowed out tree trunks serve as hives. They cost nothing and are virtually maintenance free. Bees have been kept like this for generations. Bees mean a lot to me. They give us honey, which has healing powers. And we can earn a little money by selling it. The Chiori tree could scarcely survive without the Asiatic honey bee. The tree provides important protection from landslides during the rainy season. Bharatapur, about 600 kilometers away, Nepal's fifth largest city, lies in the Terai, the belt of lowlands in the south of the country. Away from the roads, bees swarm here as well. But they're not Asiatic honeybees. They're Apis mellifera, their European cousins. They were introduced into Nepal in the 1990s and have displaced the Asiatic honeybee in the lowlands. Biologist Uma Patap wants to protect the indigenous species. A representative of the Nepalese Beekeepers Association gives his point of view. We can harvest honey from European honeybees nine to ten times a year. You can take them to new places if there's too little food where you are. The yield is greater, so beekeepers prefer that species. But there are other reasons the European honeybee has won out over its Asian counterpart. Infectious diseases. Initially, perhaps a lot of diseases have been got transferred from European honeybee to Asian honeybee. Mostly these brood diseases, say for example European fowl brood, which is really causing uh, problems with Asian honeybee. Back to the western hills. The winter is still mild. Because European honeybees can't tolerate temperatures under the freezing point, they won't be found here. Uma Partap is already expected. She'll be giving a workshop on modern beekeeping in an isolated village. Her organization, the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development, wants to improve the lives of people in the mountainous regions and preserve diversity of species. Without the income from selling honey, farmers would have a hard time surviving here. But keeping bees in hollowed out tree trunks isn't a very efficient method. The honeycombs have to be painstakingly torn out of the log, and the process of extracting the honey destroys them. The honey that is extracted contains the parts of brood or adult bees. Many bees get killed also. So the quality of honey is not so good, and also the colony also gets weaker. How can the bees be protected from disease? What methods bring the best yields? The bee expert knows very well that protecting the bees must be financially worthwhile. So she promotes modern box hives. The brood is kept in the lower part where it's protected. The removable honeycomb contains only adult bees and the honey. And there's another advantage. Those honeycombs, they can be reused again for bees to store more honey. So the bees do not have to spend more energy to build new combs to store honey. The hives are good. Now we're able to see whether or not the colony is diseased, if honey is being made, and how the brood is doing. A bit lower in the hill country in the village of Jaltuda, the new method has long since established itself. The bees accept the hives, and the colonies, which had been under threat, are growing again.
30-year-old Kam Arabuhara also benefits. She used to earn a living just from farming. Now she has her own carpenter's workshop. She specializes in building beehives, and it's doubled her income. Building honeycomb frames and box hives has become very important for us. Since modern beekeeping was introduced in this region, the demand is so great that we can hardly keep up. Kamala also sells entire bee colonies, and she's a beekeeper herself. Here she's harvesting the last honey of the season. Kamara used to keep bees using traditional methods. Now she simply spins out the honeycomb frames, which can then be used again. That's good for the bees and good for the honey. It never used to be as pure as it is now. Hari Hari Ram. 